Visualizing data is important to get information at a glance. Conditional formatting is one of many tools we use to achieve this goal. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you two useful hacks in which I combine the functionality of conditional formatting along with built-in functions and the effect of changing the font type to build an eye-catching project. So let's dive in. In this example, I have some numbers in column A. And I would like to represent these numbers by a bar chart that I'll be creating by using a function. So I'll be using the repeat function. In cell B4, I type equal repeat. I open bracket. What would you like to repeat? In double quotation, I type the pipe character and then comma. I want to repeat this character for the number available in cell A4. I close the bracket and then hit enter and I would have repeated the number. I can double click and send it down. It doesn't look at all like a bar chart until I go to the home tab. I change the font to playbill. When I hit enter, it becomes a bar chart. Now I can apply a conditional formatting to change the color of the bar to red, orange, or green. I click on conditional formatting, I select a new rule, and I want to use a formula. I'll be creating three conditional formatting rules. I start with the first one. I look at the number in cell A4, and I lock it to the column by hitting F4, F4, and I say if it's smaller than or equal to 100, I want the font to be red. I click on font and I change the color and I make it red. I hit OK and another OK. Now I want to duplicate this rule. I go to conditional formatting, manage rule. I select it and I want to duplicate it twice. I select the second occurrence and I want to edit it. If it is less than 200, I change the number to 200. In this case, I want it orange. I change the font color and I make it orange and I hit OK and OK. For the third occurrence, if it's less than 250, then I want to make it green. I hit OK and another OK and I would have created the three conditional formatting rules. It simulates a multicolor conditional formatting data bar, but it's created by using a function. It's dynamic because the numbers in column A are created by a randomizing function. When I hit F9, you can see that the bar is changing. This is a feedback questionnaire about a service or a course I delivered. I want to ask the participants how did I find the course? Excellent, very good, good, fair, frustrating, and so on, and I gave some numbers. In column A, I created a drop list from which the participant can select a response and select an option. And accordingly, in column B, there is a lookup function that looks at this range and returns the corresponding number. I want to visualize this response. I want to visualize it by converting this number in a certain number of stars and the color of the stars change according to the rating. I don't need this range anymore, then I'm going to hide it, right click and hide. And I want to bring a star, which is a symbol. I go to the insert tab of the ribbon and then I click on symbol. The symbols dialog box opens and here is the star. I want to insert it and close. I don't want the star, I'm going to use it inside a function. I select it and I cut it, Control X, and I start creating by function equal repeat. In double quotation, I paste the star. It doesn't look like a star, no worries. I type a comma and I want to repeat it for the number appearing in column B. I close the bracket, I hit enter, and then I want to copy down. It doesn't look like a star until I go to the home tab. I change the font to Wingdings. When I hit enter, here you go. I have the stars. Now let's create our conditional formatting rules. I click on conditional formatting, new rule. And I want to use a formula. 
I click in the formula box and I say, if the value in column B and I lock it to the column is greater than or equal four, then in this case, I want the stars to appear in green. I click on format. Don't be confused. We are on the font tab. I click on the down arrow and I make it green. I hit OK and another OK. I created the first rule. I click on conditional formatting, manage rule, and I want to duplicate the rule. I click on this beautiful icon twice. I select the second occurrence and I want to duplicate it. And I say, if it is equal to three, I want the font to be orange. I select the third rule. I want to edit it. If it's less than or equal to, I want the font to be red. Now I have the beautiful stars. I can hide column B, right click and hide. And now let's test. If I select one of the options, I click on the drop list and I want to make it excellent. I get five stars and in green, and I click on the down arrow. If I select fair, then I get two stars and in red. If I select frustrating, one star and in red, and I finished creating my feedback questionnaires returning stars according to the client evaluation. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to receive more tips like this one. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.